but I actually want to talk about the biggest breaking news in the cryptocurrency market this week. The SEC is going to sue Paxos over Binance stablecoin. Paxos is Binance stablecoin issuer. This is going to have a big negative impact on the entire cryptocurrency market, but it is going to have an even bigger negative impact on the price of BNB. And in fact, you know, after the announcement, uh, BNB had a 15% drop. And looking at the chart of BNB, we are right now, you know, trading below key levels, and we are also trading below moving average. So we are going to, you know, analyze the chart of Binance Coin, uh, talk about, you know, short term and mid uh, and mid term potential price targets. Now. I see a lot of people are very surprised. Uh, personally, I'm not really surprised because if you if you go back in late 2022, the SEC made it very clear that they were going to crack down on crypto in 2023. So here we are today. Uh, this is the beginning, and again, kind of going back, you know, to talk about the negative impact. This is going to, you know, have a, a big negative impact. On the entire cryptocurrency market. Looking at you know Binance stablecoin, it is currently ranked number seven with a market cap of 15 billion dollars. Paxos has already agreed, you know, not to mint any more Binance stablecoin. So that is going to slow down the liquidity in this market. And again, we're not just talking about you know another stablecoin. We are talking about one of the biggest stablecoin in the market with over a $15 billion market cap. Uh, other things that are also going to suffer, you know, anything that have any association with, you know, BNB chain. So a lot of these, you know, applications are definitely going to suffer, at least in the short term. So if you are invested in any of, in any of these projects, in any of these dApps right here, uh, you know, a lot of DeFi projects, a lot of, you know, gaming projects, a lot of social projects, a lot of, you know, a bunch of different things. So if you are invested in, you know, a lot of these tokens, then you definitely want to, you know, continue to follow uh, this lawsuit because I don't think this is going to help, you know, any of these applications, at least in the short term. Now, let's take a look at the chart of, you know, BNB. So we are right now at $296. And again, a 15% drop, you know, right after the news came out. Uh, looking at the daily time frame, for the first time, you know, the price is below uh, the 21 daily EMA, which of course is bearish in the short term. And this is the first time since we broke above the 21 daily EMA in early January. So early January, we had this breakout, we had this breakout, you know, above three, above $251, and we pushed all the way up to $335. But for the first time, again, you know, this is the news right here. Uh, for the first time, you know, we are right now back below the 21 daily EMA. And of course, if you go back and you look at, you know, what price tends to do when trading below the 21 daily EMA, uh, it doesn't look pretty. Uh, this was like a 60% drop right here. Uh, this was a 60% drop. We had another massive drop right here. Uh, I'm not predicting that we are going to see, you know, another 60% drop, but looking at the chart of Binance coin right now, this is definitely not looking good. Now, let's zoom out and talk about key levels. So in terms of key levels, you know, I'm looking at this range right here. Uh, this is my first, you know, really support, you know, right down here. And right after that, uh, this is my second support right here. Uh, and tell you what the price are. So right here is around $250. And right down here is around $220. And, uh, you know, the last one is going to be all the way down here at around $180.
So these are the big, you know, three targets. These are the big three targets. Uh, the first target is more likely, you know, this retracement all the way back to around, you know, $250 range. Uh, this is more likely. You can see we have, you know, our second uh, weekly red candle, right? Uh, so we're more likely to see a continuation of this. Uh, I'm going to assume that we are going to see a lot of FUD around, you know, Binance over the coming weeks. And of course, you know, that is going to have an impact on the price. Uh, I don't think that is going to drive the price up. Uh, it's more likely going to drive the price down. And if we can't hold these levels right here, then, uh, you know, I'm looking at a retest in this $220 level. Now, you know, all the way down here, you know, as of right now, I'm going to say that it is less likely. And the reason why I think, you know, this is less likely is because I believe, you know, Bitcoin has either already bottomed or this pullback is going to bring us all the way down to around, you know, $18,000. If Bitcoin goes to $18,000, uh, I don't see, you know, Binance around $180. But if Bitcoin was to drop to around fifteen thousand dollars, then I do see an uh, you know an eighteen. I do see a hundred and eighty dollar Binance. All right. So if Bitcoin can go back to fifteen thousand dollars, which I right now think is less likely, uh, then we can see you know Binance back in this range right here. But as long as Bitcoin stays above eighteen thousand uh, dollars, the lows are more likely to be right down here. So this will be the worst case scenario. But in the short term, you know, I'm definitely not bullish on Binance coin. Uh, this right here is extremely bearish. Uh, not only is it bearish for BNB, but it is also bearish for these applications right here on, you know, Binance chain. So I'll be very careful, you know, trying to trade this project. I'll be very careful trying to go along and if this is the end, if this is the end of Binance stablecoin, it is going to be very interesting to see how this is going to have, uh, you know, an impact on the price of BNB moving forward.